Hello everyone, Daniel Yuck here. Thank you all for tuning in today. I appreciate you. Today we're going to dive into an in-depth review. We are going to take an up-close look at this tattoo machine from a company called Josie. We're going to go ahead and unbox this together. We're going to wrap the machine. We're going to test the performance and anything else that I can possibly relay to you in this video. Should you have any questions at any point throughout this video, I'm going to encourage you to drop a comment down below. I will do my absolute best to assist you in the best possible direction. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive straight on into this. So here we have a wireless tattoo machine. Allow me to bring the packaging up close to show you all. Again, this is from a company called Josie. Forgive me if I'm mispronouncing that. I think that's how we pronounce that. It is a wireless tattoo machine. I'm gonna show you the box all the way around right here. Let's go ahead and remove the sleeve right here and this is the box right here up close that's what the machine looks like right there so we are greeted with the tattoo machine right here this looks like a charging cable let's remove some of these contents here so this is the tattoo machine. I'm going to get more into that here shortly. Allow me to move it over to the side here. And under here, as you see, we do have a spare battery. That's what I wanted to see if there was two batteries or one. This is the charging cable. It's actually a really nice charging cable. I like it. Very straightforward there. And this is the spare battery. As you see under the battery, we have some O-rings as well. And this is the battery up close. As you can see, it's not too big and it's not too small either. So it does come with two batteries so that we have a cyclic workflow. This is the machine up close right here. Allow me to make some room so we can see it easier. As you see, it says Josie right there. And the machine itself is a, I would consider it more to midge, large size tattoo machine. I'm typically used to shorter machines that are like around here. This one is a larger machine. However, in terms of the width, I'm actually really comfortable with the width as well. I'm really excited to go ahead and use this machine. Now I will leave the links in the description below so you can read more into it, check out all the details on your end. As you can hear, it is a click grip. Allow me to remove this grip with you all. So if I'm correct, we can autoclave the grip. We can wipe this down with our Cytal solution. This is the battery. The battery would come off like so. Switch it out with the other. So all of this can be wiped down. We can't autoclave this entire machine. However, we can wipe it down. You place it back on, turn the battery like so. So assembly and disassembly is actually really straightforward, very, very simple, not complicated at all. And to turn it on, you're gonna hold down this power button. And as you can see though, the voltages start at five, they end at 12, so it's five, 5.5, six, 6.5, 6 7, 7.5, allow me to zoom in. And you get the idea there. And you can see the light changes. So it does have a dynamic voltage range. This will be good for dot work, pepper shading. We are going to test out the performance. We're gonna see if we can line with it. We can push mags, pack, all of that, what we typically do in our reviews. So before we get into the performance aspect of this machine, let's go ahead and get on into wrapping this machine right here. So when it comes to wrapping these machines, pen style tattoo machines, it's always very straightforward and almost the same for me. It does vary a little bit from design to design, machine to machine. For this machine specific, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the grip first. I always use simple saran wrap. I used to use blue film wraps, but not anymore. I prefer just a simple saran wrap barrier as it is highly effective. So I'm going to place that part around the top part of this machine like so. Just 
to each their own. As you can see, I still have full access to my screen right there. I can still see everything. Turn it on. Everything good to go. So that's perfect. I have the top part covered. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply the grip on down here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cover the bottom part with saran wrap as well, repeating that process. And this is pretty straightforward here. What we're doing is we're trying to make our machine as low risk as possible. it around and on and there we go so now I have full adjustability and my machine is low risk wrapped ready to go so that's how I would go about wrapping the Josie wireless tattoo machine let's get into the performance aspect of this machine and we can come back I can give you all my final opinions on this machine right here
So for me, all in all, after having some experience with the Josie tattoo machine, I do feel like this is an all around workhorse of a machine. I was able to achieve smooth lines with it, one pass lines. I was able to do dot work. I was able to use mags. I was able to stipple. I was able to shade. I was able to pack. All of the essentials that I needed from a tattoo machine, I was able to achieve with this wireless tattoo machine from Josie. From me to you, I would give this machine from Josie a thumbs up and about a 3.9, 4.1 stars. It's hard to pick um, between those two numbers, but I'm stuck between a 3.9, 4.1. And here is why. I do like the fact that this is a good workhorse of a machine. I do like the build. The batteries seem to last a while. And overall, the machine itself seems to be a quality product. Again, if you've watched my reviews and you've seen my workflow, me personally, when it comes to sterilizing, I want to be able to get into as much of the tattoo machine as I can. So the fact that I can't get into this part to sterilize or to get more specific with where I need to sterilize is a little bit iffy for me and always will be. That's just my logic, thought process, and approach. That is why I'm rating it the way that I do. However, if you're looking for a machine that is an all-around workhorse of a machine, then this one is definitely one to look into. That is how I feel about this machine right here. It's definitely there in terms of performance, but for me, I wish I can just kind of put the whole thing, as much of the machine as possible, into an autoclave. Unfortunately, since this one has electrical components up top, I'm not able to do so. So with that being said, those are my opinions. That's how I feel about this machine right here. Should you have any questions about anything that you may have seen or heard throughout this video, I'm going to encourage you to drop a comment down below. What I will do is do my best to assist you in the best possible direction. I also have social medias all under the same name as this YouTube channel. I have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok all under the same name. I would truly appreciate the support on there. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me and ring that bell as I'm going to be bringing more videos like this for you all. Thank you for tuning in yet again. You have a great day.